Welcome to this painting tutorial. How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to paint a Vostroyan Imperial Guard for Warhammer 40k. This is a fairly easy miniature to paint and a very cool looking one. This is one of the old metal models that are still available on the Games Workshop site. I really had fun painting this model and if you like it don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you can, click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. I'm going to start by priming the model in black. You can choose any color primer that you want. I uh, just chose black because I think it's a good base for all the colors that we're going to use. Okay, we're going to start with Mephiston Red. Uh, this is the obvious uh, choice to start this model because uh, the uniform is red. So I'm going to start applying this around the uh, uniform of the model. Uh, make sure to thin down your color so it doesn't cover detail. And do don't worry about it if you paint uh, places that you're not supposed to paint yet. It doesn't matter, just make sure that all of the places that are going to be red are painted red. And we're going to need uh, a couple of coats to cover over the black. But that's that's no that's no problem. With Dryad Bark, I'm going to paint all of the places that are wood, such as the the body of the of the weapon and uh, the dark leather and the hat on this miniature. Make sure to always thin down your paint a little, at least a little bit, so that the color doesn't uh, obscure the detail, and you can see still all your crisp details around the model. With Lead Belcher, I'm going to paint all of the places that are going to be silver. I chose to do the brown first because uh, on places like in the weapon, uh, some of the details are covering over the brown, so it's easier to paint the places that are on top of other things instead of painting the silver and then going into the the bottom of the silver and painting the the wood on the on the gun, for example. But you can do these steps as as in the order that you like, uh, in the order that you feel more comfortable. Next, I'm using Mornfang Brown, and with this color I'm going to paint the lighter colored leather, which is uh, the boots and all of the pouches around the belt of this uh, model. Uh, this is very easy, it's the same as the other steps, just a thin down paint, and I'm using a size 2 watercolor brush. It's called Raphael's, and um, it's a very good brush for painting even details and it holds a lot of paint so that you can paint uh, all of the areas around the model easily with just one brush. Here I'm using Sandry Dust and I'm going to paint the purity seal real quick. After that's done I'm going to paint Balthazar gold and I'm going to paint all of the places that are going to be gold around the armor. This is very easy, just make sure to thin down a little bit more the, the metallic paints because they are sometimes very tacky. Uh, that's my case with my uh, this gold of mine. But don't thin it too much so that it runs all around, just enough so that it, that it flows. And uh, yeah, make sure to paint all of the places that are going to be gold around the model. And with this is uh, pretty much all of the colors that we have to block on the miniature. Uh, all of the colors are, are pretty much painted. After this, I'm going to start dry brushing uh, the hat with Gorthor Brown, just to give it a hint of a different brown before we shade the whole thing. I'm going to dry brush it on top and then also I'm going to paint the little patterns on the gun to suggest like a wood kind of pattern on the gun. Uh, the wash is going to tone it down, but uh, just to establish a little bit of a variation on this uh, surface. And the hat, as I said, I'm going to completely dry brush it with Gorthor Brown. Once all the colors are painted, I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade and shade the whole model. Make sure to don't leave any large pools of shade around the model so it doesn't have weird shadows where it shouldn't. Make sure it sits in all of the uh, crevices and all of the places in between the colors so that you have a shadow and a lining kind of effect between colors. Uh, this Agrax Earthshade is a very good wash for all of the colors that we chose on this uh, miniature. So make sure to use it all around. but be very careful not to let it pool too much in any areas so it dries well. Here I'm going to use Mephiston Red again just to repaint a little bit of the 
uh, higher places on the red so that it uh, looks cleaner and not so uh, dirty. Uh, you can leave the, the miniature looking like this. This is a very ac acceptable as a tabletop standard. It looks pretty good. But I'm going to highlight it further to make it look more shiny and cleaner and uh, a little prettier. Next I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet and with this color I'm going to paint the top, I mean the bottom part of the lenses around the model and also I'm going to paint the, uh, the uniform again uh, but just in the top parts where light hits and um, this is a more uh, subtle as a glaze just make sure to thin it down a little more so it doesn't look so stark and dif the difference between the red, uh, the Mephiston Red and the Evil Suns and after that I'm using the Wild Rider Red to edge highlight all of the edges around the robe and also on the very bottom part of the lenses just to give a little bit of fiery effect on the lens uh, towards the bottom of all of the lenses around the model. And next I'm going to use white to give it a little reflection of light on the top part of the lenses. Uh, this includes just the, the scope this little scope on the side of the weapon and the top part of the uh, the eyes. Next with Iron Breaker I'm going to clean up all of the silver parts and this is not gonna be a dry brush this is going to be a... I'm gonna paint almost completely the the silver parts around the model just leaving the wash in the recesses. This is because um, the photos that I saw about these uh, Bostroyan guards had very clean uh, silvers so I wanted to make it look very similar and I painted the whole silver area just leaving the shadows on the recesses that we made with the wash. Next Gorthor Brown I'm going to give do the same thing that I did uh, before the wash just re-establish uh, the edges around the wood and I'm going to give it a very small dry brush on top of the uh, the the head, just the most sharpest uh, parts and the most uh, uh, protruded parts of the fur on the hat. Once that's done, I'm going to use Scrag Brown, and with this color, I'm going to highlight all of the leather around the model. Uh, this color is more like an edge highlight or painting on the places that are most exposed to light. I'm not painting the whole thing. Uh, just the uh, most protruded parts and all of the edges around the boots. I didn't bother cleaning up the uh, leather with uh, more more fang brown. I just painted on top of it because uh, the wash makes it make the, makes the leather look a little bit more worn and old. So that's good. And next with Balor Brown, this is a very yellowish brown, but it's a very high, um, very high contrast highlight for this so that it looks better. I'm going to edge highlight it on just the very sharpest parts of the leather just to make it look a little bit more, uh, uh, make it pop a little bit more. Next, uh, I'm using game color bright bronze. Uh, you can use uh, Psychorax bronze from the Citadel range. I just happen to like this color a lot more so if you can get it, this color, it's beautiful. So to make uh, paint all of the brass details on your models, this color is great. And this I'm going to use it on all of the brands, just um, trying to edge highlight where you can, where the areas are too small to edge highlight, it doesn't matter if you cover most of the thing, leaving the recesses on the previous color. Next, uh, with the silver, I'm going to edge highlight with, um, this is um, Runefang Steel, and this is going to go over the all of the edges of the silver parts. It's uh, more bright than the um, previously used um, Iron Breaker, I think. And uh, I'm also going to use it on the very sharpest parts of the brass, just to give it a, an extra pop and make it a little bit more shiny and tone it down a little bit, give it a little bit more variation to the bronze. Next, I'm using uh, Ushapti Bone for cleaning up the parchment scroll. After that, I'm going to use Screaming Skull, very quick, and just paint the edges of the, um, the purity seal on the model. And this is the finished model. 
I really had fun painting this model. I really like the old style metal miniatures for Warhammer 40k. This one's one of them and um, I tried to match it as best as, as I could to the original artwork and uh, this is the end result. It really doesn't take a lot of time to paint and it's not that hard to do as well. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this little video and that you found it informative and helpful. Thank you very much for watching and if you liked it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Click the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Let me know what you would like me to paint next and if you want to send me a model, you can hit me up on Facebook. The link is in the description below. And sending me a model is going to guarantee that I'm going to work on that model next or as soon as I can for a tutorial. So yeah, send me free models so that I can paint them and make more videos. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next one. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.